Hi guys, we are here for understanding a patent in a very easy way. So if you see, the best way of understanding a patent should be followed by basic two laws. First will be visualization of the concept and second can be knowing the what, how and why of the concept. So in the complete video, I'll be taking you on board the things. So let's first start with visualization. Now to help you understand how to visualize a patent, I have picked some random patent from Google Patents. So here we see there's a patent that I have taken and this basically talks about relay network duplex coordination method and relay network device. Now when we read the title of a patent, the first thing that comes into our mind is the technology. So by the term duplex coordination, we can easily understand that it should have a two-way communication. So that's how you understand the domain. You just need to focus on the keywords of the uh, title. Now, when I say visualization, let's take the example of duplex coordination. Now, when you're visualizing, you need to have two systems in your head. Say duplex coordination, so you should have one system here and another system here. These two things will be communicating with each other. Now, when you read about relay network, you know that there is a third thing which is in between these two things. So visualize it in your head that there are three things. One, two, three. Duplex coordination, this relay node is communicating with this node as well. And this relay node is communicating with this thing as well. So that's how we go for visualization. Now you'll have to understand the claims on this concept. So if you see this claim, say suppose the target claim is claim one. And you see this claim, this is such a long claim, okay? Now to easily understand this, there are two things that uh, you need to follow. First, you just get the understanding of the domain from the background. Now when you know what the background is talking about, you need to find the claim elements in your description. So for that, you need to read the claims first. Say suppose, and you just need to capture the terms that is visible to you which seems different say suppose a method for duplex coordination so you note the term duplex coordination relay network you note it configuration information these things seem different so you need to note these things down now you just briefly read the claim once from top to bottom like what it is talking about so that you know which part you need to focus in the description now once you know it you just need to scroll down your description or maybe you can just find, say suppose you need to find configuration information. So just control copy, control F, control V. You know where configuration information is written, scroll it down and read in the description what is the actual concept behind configuration information. What the patent is talking in the patent, what the term is disclosing in the description. Now once we are done with this, you come back to the PM again. Because now you know the concept. So. You just need to understand again. You need to read the claims again. What, it is what is this telling? And you need to visualize, as I was saying earlier, you need to visualize what's mentioned in the claim. Now, with this visualization part is over, you can visualize uh, the complete claim on the basis of understanding of description. Now that we are done with visualization, now we'll be switching to the next step. So for knowing the what, it's very easily understandable if you go through the claim elements one by one. What basically means what is happening in the claim. So if you read the claim very carefully, you will understand the what. The main difficulty comes when you have to know the how of the concept. For how, you can understand it if you go through the description very, very carefully. Now, why I'm focusing on the term very, very again and again is because people generally read it and they don't understand at the back of the head that what is happening. So they're not able to understand and then they have to repeat it again and again. Now, once this part is done, you know the uh, what of the concept, you know the how of the concept, you'll have to switch to why of the concept. And to understand uh, why, you won't find it in the patent. To understand it, you will have to explore further. You will have to maybe do some Google search, maybe read some blogs, uh, do some YouTube surfing. So understanding the why helps you better visualize all the things and helps you remember. 
Now, say suppose you are not able to understand the domain even after understanding the complete patent. Say suppose if the tech is very new for you, then maybe you can take the help of the documents which are already cited in the uh, subject patent, the patent we are understanding, and that will help you understand the domain. Say suppose uh, here we can see there are patent citations, non-patent citations, so you can click on any of those. You can read these documents. Say suppose here is written study on integrated access and backhaul for NR. Now you can read about this, integrated access and backhaul for NR. These things will help you understand what actually is happening because it will give you more documents, more blogs directly to understand what is happening. Another way of understanding the domain, maybe you can refer to the classes which I mentioned here. You see there are a lot of classes. Now if you read this, selecting relay station operation mode. So you know something about relay is happening. Radio transmission system. So now if you are not able to understand what a relay station is, what a duplex coordination is, but now you know it's a radio transmission system. So something will be transmitted from one system to another. Some radio transmission will be taking place. These things will help you connect the dots and then eventually you'll be able to visualize all the things that are going in the patent and that will help you easily understand the patent. That was all on how to understand the patent in an easy way. This is Sonali from Gravy. Stay tuned for more such videos.